Hi friends, welcome to Storytime on the Back Porch. I'm Lisa and this is my furry friend, Lila. You know, Lila does not always follow the rules, do you? How about you? Do you always follow the rules? Well, here's a rule on the front of this book. It says, do not open this book. But I really wanna open it. Maybe just this one time. Let's see why we shouldn't open this book. Excuse me, but who do you think you are opening this book when the cover clearly says, do not open this book? If a sign on the door reads, do not enter, do you enter? Of course you don't. The least you would do is knock first. The reason you weren't supposed to open this book is because it is not yet written. Look at this blank page. Look at this jumble of words. You think it's easy to put words together? Ha! Huh. Now go away. I need time to think. Now what? Can't you see I'm busy? I am trying to decide what type of story to write. Perhaps I will write a scary story. Or maybe a bedtime story. After you go to sleep, I will be able to get to work. Even if you are snoring, it will be better than having you stare at me. Arg, why are you still here? Okay, I have an idea. If you sit very still and are very quiet, I will try to write while you are watching me. But please, no matter what you do, do not turn pages while I am working. Page turning during story writing can cause words to blow around and they might end up in the wrong order. Okay, here I go. I am starting my story. A ferocious storm swept through the forest. A tiny mouse hid beneath a pink flower. A tiger paced and flashed its big sharp teeth, trying to take a bite out of the roaring wind. Remember, do not turn the page. Big, ferocious mouse flashed sharp pink teeth. Oof! Pitch black darkness. Boo! I warned you about what might happen if you turn the pages. Now you see how careful you have to be with words. This time, I'm going to make sure you do not turn the page. Do I have to tell you again? Do not turn the page. Very heavy rock. Oh, you are very strong. Do you work out at a gym? Okay, I give up. Since you won't go away, I will make this story about you. What's your name? Oh. I cannot spell that. Hmm, I'll tell you what. I will leave a blank like this. So whenever you see a in the story, say your name. Ready? Okay, now you can turn the page. There once was a giant pest named had huge eyes, humongous ears, and too many teeth, also a big nose. It did not matter how many times was asked to go away, would not go. Finally, I had to call the giant pest control company. Hello, I said, I am on page 29 of an unwritten book and a giant pest name will not stop bothering me. I cannot work and I cannot stand this for another second. So please send someone right away to help me get rid of. Ack, ack, ack. You are still here. I thought my story would make you so mad you would slam this book shut and go away. Don't you have anything better to do? Maybe you could go bother someone else. 
Maybe you could go watch your toenails grow. Oh, look, I am almost out of pages. Wow, I wrote a whole book. It was pretty good, too, wasn't it? The part with the big, ferocious mouth was scary. So, in a way, it was a scary story. It was a bedtime story, too, because I am certainly very tired. I am going to sleep now. Goodbye, and, oh, um, thank you for helping me write this book. I couldn't have done it without you. Now go away! Good night. Okay. Well, so now we know why we weren't supposed to open the book. But we did help write a story together, didn't we? Do not open this book. What a fun book by Michaela Montaigne and Pascal Lamontre. Fun. Join us for another story time on the back porch. Be sure to subscribe.